What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite trainer. It's back again, give you the latest and greatest updates on XRP. And if you are new to this channel, you like what you're seeing here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future content. Uh, that being said, let me jump right into it, you guys. Uh, I want to give you this quick video. Uh, usually, I give a longer video with a, a better opening, but uh, it looks like the market's about to make its move, so I don't have time to really edit and get into all that. So before I get into that, I want to read you guys the scripture coming out of Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And we are living in times, as we, as I always say, and I'm going to say it time and time again, we are living in dark times, whether you see it or not. You see that this world that we're going in is it's starting to... You see plagues, you see uh, vi the coronavirus, you see a lot of things going on, and it's only about to get worse. And once this financial crisis happens, you're, you're going to see a true purge in people, pretty much. But uh, what I want to say um, to, about this scripture is, are you willing to endure for Jesus Christ to the very end, the bitter end? No, even if it costs you your life, even if it costs you everything, how are you willing to endure for his name's sake? Are you willing to endure it into the very end, no matter what happens to you, whether you lose it all, whether you gain it all? What are you living for? Uh, I'm not saying this to, you know, you know, sound good or sound like I'm perfect or I'm so spiritual and holy than thou but I'm pointing out to you guys that you guys and myself included we all need to hear this message because at any time we could just disappear off this earth like Kobe had done when he he lost his life he didn't expect to die did he endure to the very end was he it was his relationship with Jesus to the bitter end of that's how I look at life now after seeing a situation like that. Uh, so I have that mentality now to always have Christ first, no matter what. Even if XRP is to move tomorrow, I'm still going to put Christ first, no matter what. So that being said, let's jump right into it. I hope you guys got the message and let's get into it. Uh, as you see, we've been making that move to the upside. And I always said, once we get to this cloud level, we'll see some rejection up here. And you know, we already are seeing some rejection. And you see that it has been rejecting. But that rejection is not what it seems. It's just a recoil to make a bigger move to the upside. Uh, looking at it on the daily time frame, as you see, we're moving somewhat parabolic. If I'm going to show you what I mean. Where is that? tool I don't use this tool too often but when I do it, uh, it's very apparent and obvious here it is I believe no it's here right here so as you see we have been moving parabolically for XRP and so we just made a pit stop we're making our bounce and now we're about to make our next move so this is going to be the next move to the upside uh, and I'm excited for this because a lot of people, and, and myself included, are, have been waiting for this. And it's time to to reap what we sold into this uh, investment. So looking at on the four hour time frame, it has kept it has found support. It seems at thirty cents, which is a good sign. And here you see that we made. A reversal doji right here so that's showing that this is support right here so I'm expecting some more movement to the upside and to finish this off what I like here I see some bullet hidden bullish divergence the ultimate oscillator is making lower lows while the price is making higher highs and uh, not just that like I said, we have found our support in this area. Uh, RCI is showing us that we are kind of, you know, underneath the zero. But once we, I, what I'm seeing here is once the signal line gets above the 80 level, I believe we'll start seeing the trend on the uh, RCI to start move back to the upside. 
uh, looking at the daily RCR, you see we're well above 80. So that's a really good sign. And this is what I, I like here is that the RCI is showing us that we are out of this negative 70 level. We're pushing up higher. So that's a good sign as well to see prices move higher. And let's see what the weekly RCI is looking like. It's moving on up as well. But like I was saying, price is making its move to the upside. So this is the target that I have right now. I mean, not target. This is the entry that I have once it breaks this bullish fractal. Uh, I expect price to trigger here. Looking for targets, I will look on the daily time frame. Now you see we're parabolic. Uh, let's see. Aim is at in this level up here. And then the next level will be 50 cent. And I'm not gassing this up. This is what I see. I think we'll have our true problems up here. We're already moving parabolic. So I, I think we'll blow through this pretty fairly easily. Uh, but when it comes to these levels, let me zone this for you guys. Between 50 cent and this level here is where I'm expecting price to start having its real battle. Maybe start ranging between 40 or back here. But what I do see is price coming up to this level right now. So where we're currently at, excuse me, I have the hiccups right now. That's not what I wanna use. I'm gonna just use my regular tool, price range tool. So I'm expecting a 58% gain in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna say three weeks. I think March is when we'll start seeing price really start to ramp up. Uh, I had subliminally said this a long time ago. Some people that pay attention to my Twitter, I have said, I would have to post it, but I pretty much gave y'all a subliminal message. It was actually to my student to know about this trade, but I said that price will start moving from uh, February the 3rd to March 3rd. And we're already seeing that movement to the upside and we have been parabolic since. So you guys stay tuned for the next video. 50 cents is the next target. It looks very clean right now. It looks like it's about to happen and I hope that you guys, you know, give me your thoughts in the comment section and stay tuned. All right. Peace. God bless you guys.